Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Generation Platinum. Now today on Platinum Rankings, we are going to talk about the games from 2023 that we are most excited about. Um, nearly fucked up that intro again. Um, oh, so that's why I laugh. <laughs> this week, we are not going to argue, we're not going to discuss because it's kind of hard to take an opinion as an objective thing. So what we're going to do instead done is... enough arguing for one week, eh, Exactly. <laughs> what we're going to do instead is Jack's going to talk about his, why... He's, why, why he's looking forward to them and then I'm going to go into it and then we'll talk about some you know other ones that we're looking forward to but not in the top four sound good? I'm on Pornhub what's going on? perfect <laughs> I'm, just, I'm right. just kidding I'm just kidding alright Jackie boy um, I was on YouTube I was looking at statistics um, of porn so oh yeah I was googling porn on YouTube nice. seeing how far that would get me girls kissing <laughs> <laughs> girls <laughs> naked <laughs> please thank you <laughs> girls showing ankles uh, <laughs> Ooh. wow this whole thing's a fucking write off in so many ways never um, never they'll never take our freedom they'll never take us alive right go tell can me say one last thing no no this is already a shit show so let's enjoy it can I say one last thing before I say my four of course you can say whatever you like you lied to me Oh no, not again. We <laughs> <laughs> happens a lot. Anyway. <laughs> um, we just did uh, uh, our podcast, and you told me there was a Tekan game coming out this year. Oh, they're definitely. And fucking I was waiting is. for it, and it was not on the list. So I'm mad. I'm mad at you. Tekken Eight. I feel like you are right, but it wasn't on that list. It's not on the list. I've just googled it. And there is, it's coming out, maybe it's not, mm. maybe it's not been announced for this year. Anyway, ranking. Anyway. (laughs) We are going to still list them trophy uh, order. So my bronze uh, for the most excited game, most exciting game, most looking forward to don't know the wording here i'm also dancing <laughs> of 2023 um coming in at bronze is dead island 2 i'm um i'm a little uneasy on this game you know um and i think it looks better than the first and riptide um that's for sure you should hope so <laughs> oh, fuck, <I'm> so <laughs> 20, 10 years later or whatever um but of course it's been delayed a million times um and it's been through three studios, I want to say, mm-hmm. three or four different development studios. Um, and, of course, they did their big reveal um, not too long ago. It was like, it's finally coming out. And then a month later, they delayed it. Yeah. And granted, they only delayed it by like a month or so. But it's, uh, it's still all of it just adds up to a scenario you should be worried about. Yeah, and it's still not a good look, is it, really? They go, no, our game's going to... Um, we're ready to release our game. They go, actually, hold on a sec, we're not... <laughs> And the uh, the forced uh, Amazon tie-in, uh, we were just talking about on the podcast, uh, where you can give voice commands and it'll do certain things. Don't you dare set off, woman. I'm watching you. Um, <laughs> sorry. And, uh, yeah, so I don't know. Um, but I do really want it to be good because I love zombie games. I actually mm-hmm. wonder a few people that might have liked um, the first Dead Island games. Not because they were good, they were bad, but they were bad. So bad they were good. Um, I, couldn't, I couldn't get on board it, with them. Yeah, that's fair enough. We should play them together. Okay. I think about that a lot. Um, I'm in. I'm out. Do oh. you want to shake it all about? <laughs> um, I hate. I hate you. <laughs> a lot of people do. Um, uh, so yeah, but uh, I enjoy that, and I don't think you can often go too wrong with just having an open world zombie environment where you just get to go around and brutally kill uh, zombies. So yeah, I'm quite looking forward to that one, but just slightly cautious. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Coming in at my silver is Hogwarts Legacy. Um, for some similar reasons to Dead Island 2. Um, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I am very excited for it. But it's a big leap for a studio. I've just not realised I've not been looking at the camera this entire time. I'm so tired. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a big leap for a studio that's best known for Disney Infinity. Um and that also has been through a bit of development hell to like quite a lot. Um, and there's just something when I watch the gameplay where I go, this looks so good, but there's just something slightly off. So 
it's something just in the back of my head is like, be cautious. So, while I'm really excited for it, I'm not putting it quite as high as my last two. Though, uh, I will declare here, I am going to be worse than Voldemort in this game. And I'm going to kill every single person I come across. Really? You're going to go straight to Slytherin then? Oh, we both know I'm a pussy. I won't actually do it. I'm, <laughs> do it. I'm, I'm definitely going Slytherin for sure. Yeah. But like, use, you can use like killing curses and stuff, right? I was just, yeah. I might be worse than Voldemort. just go down and slay everyone. Terrible, terrible. I'm not like the slay. But <laughs> slay girl, slay. Um, <laughs> coming in at my gold is Star Wars Jedi Survivor. Can you remember the game title there for a second? Uh, I absolutely loved the first one. Um, Platinum it twice, um, even though it was fucking annoying. Um, but I love Star Wars games. I love the Star Wars franchise and... Uh, the first one was so good and so enjoyable. The second one looks even better. And just from the one kind of trailer we've seen already, it looks like they've done quite a lot to improve on it. Um, and I'm, It seems to be having gun and lightsaber gameplay, which I think could lead to some very cool and interesting moments. We saw in some of the trailers that they've done a lot to uh, open up the environments and stuff. So looking forward to that one quite a lot. Will I platinum it? It depends how much I have to backtrack on myself. Because that was the worst part about that platinum. It's just constantly backtracking. I know it's like yeah. actual daily style, but I'm lazy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. I come... Wow, do you know? Coming in at my platinum is Assassin's Creed Mirage. Uh, as anyone that's watched Minor Marks videos will know, we're both huge Assassin's Creed fans and... Uh, while I do quite enjoy the massive open world RPGs they've done recently, I am much more a fan of the the smaller open worlds, the the more stealth, the more parkour focus. Um, much more Assassin's Creed, you know, one to Syndicate versus on, um, Origins to Valhalla. Mm. Those are much more my kind of game. And uh, Mirage is returning to that. Everything we've heard has seen so far looks very much like it could have come straight out of that kind of era of Assassin's Creed games, but obviously just a bit more modern. Um, so if they stick to what they've kind of promised and taken the game franchise back to its roots, uh, this could be up there for me in one of my favourite uh, Assassin's Creed games. Um, nice. And that is my list. That's that's a good list, to be fair. And and I got through all of it without cocking it up. <laughs> yeah. Um, mine is also the same, but a different order. Or not the same, it's slightly different, but most of them are the same, but a different order. Mm -hmm. So, my bronze starts in at Hogwarts Legacy, because for the same reasons as you, really. Like, I'm super looking forward to it. As soon as it was announced, I'm like, I'm buying this. Um, I used to play, like, all the Harry Potter games as well, or, like, the, the movie tie-ins. And mm -hmm. it was number three, I think, was the first open world version. So, it wasn't really open world, you, just, you could just rain rain free on the Hogwarts grounds, but you also had a hippogriff. You could ride Buckbeak and mm -hmm. fly around the grounds and stuff, and it was wicked. And I used to love that. And if, if Hogwarts Legacy is anything like like that and makes me feel that way again, I'm, I'm in. No matter if the faces are weird or, or the story's a bit shit, you know, or J.K. Rowling's attached to it or whatever, you know, I'm, I'm going to love it. Um, but it's bronze because there's other games that, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to a little bit more. Um... Silver is Star Wars Jedi Survivor because, again, for same, similar reasons, like, huge Star Wars fan. I mean, this is the year for, like, nerd franchises to get a good game, for right? Fandom, yeah. Well, I also, what I didn't think is on that list uh, for our podcast, there's a high chance Wolf Meat might come out this year. Oh, doubt I it. I swear at one point they were trying to act like they're both coming out in the same year, so. Yeah, but we've heard <laughs> nothing. We've heard less about Wolverine than yeah, fucking Spider-Man, but... But yeah, so yeah, Star Wars. I mean, the trailer looks looks great. Like Cal Kestis is a is a fantastic character to kind of to to push that story forward. It's going to be excellent, and you know that Darth Vader is going to be fucking chasing him. So it's like, well, mm. you've got that that aspect of the story that's going to be fucking terrifying, and it's because it's a new character. I'm looking forward to seeing like where they go with it, and it'll be nice to kind of go back to old planets and stuff that we've seen in the franchise already if that happens. So. Yeah, silver is Star Wars. Um, my gold is Assassin's Creed Mirage. Um, and again, I love Assassin's Creed. 
And as Jack said, like going back to a city base, is it set in Bangladesh or is it Pakistan or something? No, it's. I think it's more like the Pakistan region, yeah. I can't remember, but... It's not Bangladesh, I don't think. I need to find out. Mirage. Oh, I can't it's just type in... Mirage. I can't just type in Mirage. That wouldn't come up with anything. I mean, it might come up with Mirages. Mm, that is exactly what they came up with. Where is it going to be? Where is it going to be? In the corner of my Baghdad. Baghdad. It's in Baghdad. Um, which is obviously a new location. We've got a character that we know, but it's like a prequel to what we know of him. Um, and yeah, it it's just going to be excellent, I think. But with the whole problems with Ubisoft at the moment, it might go to shit. But we'll see. And my gold, no, my platinum, my platinum is going to be Avatar. Frontiers of, no, I'm joking, oh. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's, uh, it's Spider-Man, Spider-Man 2. Fuck, why did I not put that on I don't list? know, I listened to your list and I was like, what? <laughs> Dead Island 2, get fucked, Spider-Man. Yeah. So, wait, what was your list, what was the order? It was um, Legacy, Dead Island 2... Um, Jedi Survivor and uh, Mirage. So if you've put yeah. Spider-Man in top place, our lists are the same. Oh, I can't believe I forgot <laughs> Spider-Man. Oh my God. Our lists are the same. Okay, so we've got Bronze, Hogwarts Legacy, Silver, Star Wars Jedi, Survivor. Uh, gold is Assassin's Creed Barrage and Platinum is Spider-Man 2 because it's going to be excellent. Yeah, you just know it. We have the same list. A couple of um, hot takes. Games that also I'm looking forward to. Hades 2, if that comes out this year, Mm. which is going to be excellent. Disney Speedstorm, cannot wait for. Mm, Okay, yep. You're going to disagree with this one, but Crime Boss Rock A City, I'm looking forward to it. I don't want to pay 60 quid for it, but I think it could be quite fun. Like kind of like in a Saints Row GTA kind of funness. Yeah, and how did Saints Row turn out for me last yeah, year? Yeah, it's true, that's true. Um, and the last one is actually Avatar's, Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I'm very looking forward to that. I love that. I love Avatar. So, yeah. Is there I've seen a, nothing of it yet. Oh, we've, we've seen a dodgy, dodgy trailer. Oh, what, you mean the Avatar 2 trailer? Am I right, guys? Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> We've Dickhead. also got the Ubisoft Star Wars, <laughs> the Ubisoft Star Wars game. Um, Eclipse. Don't know when that's supposed. To, yeah, no, no, that's the um, Detroit people. Oh. The Ubisoft is working on an open world Star Wars game. We just don't know anything about it, so mm. it probably won't be this year. Probably not. But it might be. Prince of Persia. That also <laughs> deserves an honourable shout out. <laughs> God, if that comes out this year, I'll buy it for you. Oh, you're going to regret that. You owe me a Fiverr and Prince of Persia currently. How's yeah. this going for you? Well, I don't owe you Prince of Persia yet. It hasn't come out yet. Uh, <laughs> and it won't. It won't. I don't know. I could see them just... Uh, just dropping it. <laughs> just, yeah, just spunking it out and just being like, just, we're done. Oh, God. It's the Hope same not. way as um, Skull and Bones will come out. <sighs> that game is not getting cancelled because uh, Singapore... Um, invested a shit ton of money in it so if they don't release it they get fined to hell and back so they have to release it in some form of state at some point and I, I think Prince of Persia will be Prince of, if Ubisoft are cancelling games left right centre they're having problems I think they just go fuck it just spunk it out because they they know idiots like me will still buy it yeah yeah that's true so I mean they could at least try and get some money yeah are you gonna are you gonna play Skull and Bones god no certainly not day one Probably not fucking day fifty. Either. <laughs> um, yeah. I I played. I I'm allowed to say I played an early build of it. That's all I'm allowed to say. But judging on how I've been talking about cross, skull and crossbones, you can take. You can take. Oh shit! I just ripped something. You can take the opinion from that. So you didn't like it. <laughs> um, you know something I played. Uh, nice. Awesome, right? Any, shit, bruv. <laughs> any any last takes on any games coming out this year that you want to mention? No. Cool. That's been us talking about our top games for 2023, the most that we're excited about. So, if you've got any other games that you want to talk about, you know, drop it in the comments. Watch our other content, definitely our other podcast because um, we talk about all of the games coming out in 2023. Um, but in the meantime, give us a like, 
you know, subscribe, watch our, all of our old content, um, and have a platinum day. Tell your mum. That used to be a saying. Not anymore. <laughs>